Vehicles and infantry can kill each other, this is fair. The weapons they use to do this have got range. Vehicles and infantry share the same world and the same relative ranges. When I'm 50 meters from you, you're 50 meters from me. Aim, weapon damage and defenses all come into play. But I just want to point out to ground-based AV players that range has a much greater impact on dropships than you may realize. Let me show you. Here I am with a forge gun shooting at this infantry player. He's 53 meters away. Let me unpause that so you can see the TACnet data. As you see here, he is 53 meters away. I can see his legs and I can easily see which way he's moving. Let's look at an infantry player who's 50 meters away from a dropship. See how much small he is. No legs, no color, and no sign of any weapon that he may be holding. Let me just pause that so you can see that he was indeed 50 meters away. Three meters less than in the video I just showed you of the forge gun. Let's compare the two versions of 50 meters. It's clear at the same distance the forge gunner has a target that is at least four times the size of uh, the dropship pilot. Plus, he can see the suit is light colored, so it's not a lodgy or a proto suit. For the dropship pilots, looking at a target at the same distance away, he cannot tell anything about the target. There are no visual clues at all. So what does a dropship look like to a forge gunner when it's 50 meters away? It's a very large target as you see. He can easily see as it approaches that it's a shield version and militia due to the colours. It's about four times the size of the reticle, almost six times when it's on its side. Let's compare what the forge gunner looks like at 50 meters to the dropship pilot. Both of these images are at 50 meters. Clearly the forge gunner has an advantage. Even though we are the same distance apart, the fight is unbalanced by the camera view. Infantry are tiny black dots, which would look like this rock if the chevron was not there to tell me it was an enemy player. While the dropship actually looks like a ship to the forge gunner. Target acquisition for AV players is considerably easier. What about at greater range? This dropship is 133 meters away. It's clearly visible and twice the size of the target reticle. An easy target to acquire at this range for the forge gun or a swarm launcher. Let's compare that view to a dropship from the same distance. Although unfortunately 133 meters is just too far. So the best I can do is, is 88 meters which is a lot less. That sniper is 80 meters away. He has rendered, but he looks a lot like a shadow from this distance, as you see. I go for this guy on the roof, who turns out to be my longest kill of the match at 88 meters. He is tiny even from that modest distance. Imagine if he was 132 meters away, which is further than where Objective Alpha is for me at this point. Let's compare 88 meters in a dropship to 132 meters with a forge. Clearly one side of this engagement has an advantage. My point here is a simple one. When the developers change weapon ranges, you need to also consider the view of the enemy the weapon or vehicle gives the user. If a swarm launcher says that a 175 meter lock on range is too short, and the dropship will be able to escape with ease, it needs to consider that to be able to realistically kill him, I need to be at 50% into that range. This means he can engage me easily before I can engage him. This is not a rendering issue, this is just scale. A swarm or forge gun gets the first shot every time. Before commenting on the range changes, please consider the effective engagement range first. It's not the same view. You've been judged.